What's going on guys? It's Jack of Jackstone Bricks coming at you with another custom minifigure showcase and today we are looking at Teen Titans throughout the years. Uh, pretty much anywhere from I believe the 60s Teen Titans to the 1980 new Teen Titans and even a 90s Teen Titans member. So yeah, we've got Robin here in the center. We've got Donna Troy, Wonder Girl. We've got Aqualad. We've got Speedy right there. Kid Flash, uh, Superboy from the 1990s, and then the 1980s characters are uh, Raven, don't know how I missed that one, um, Tara, and Jericho. First here we have Robin, and uh, this is the Dick Grayson Robin. I mean, I guess you could say it's Jason Todd if you wanted to, they wear pretty much the same suit, but this to me is gonna be the Dick Grayson Robin. Now, this is not too much of a custom, but it, it is still a custom. I took the uh, 2006 and the 2017 Lego Batman movie Robin and merged the two figures together and then painted the uh, sleeves a darker green instead of bright green and painted the boots green as well. And I really like the way those came out. There's really not too much to say about this figure. The torso is just straight up that version of Robin from the movie. The cape is from the 2006 Robin. The head is from the 2006 Robin as well as the hairpiece. But for now, that is Robin. This is the only Robin I'm showing you in this video. Oh wait, maybe it's not. What? Is there a second Robin? Or maybe Robin when he gets a little bit older? Huh, I wonder. Yep, I did do a 1980s Nightwing. Now this is one of my absolute favorite customs and I completely forgot to put him at the beginning of the video. That's why I made it a big deal when I remembered that I have this figure. Now this one's not as simple as most of my figures, honestly. I had to paint those hands uh, this light blue. The boots I painted light blue. Yep, I did forget to uh, erase the back of this figure. I'll get to that. Um, <laughs> the torso here is fully painted uh, with this weird ass design. I never really loved this design. Um, I always preferred the 90s black and blue look, the late 90s black and blue look, more of the Hush era. Um, the head is, yes, it's the 2006 Nightwing hair or head. The hair is Superman's without the curl. And I did paint on this little cape piece I painted a or I cut it up a cape and then painted it blue because he's got a vest or not a vest but like a big ass collar so yeah and a very deep deep cutted v-neck weird ass design um but god I really I, I do really like it and I think that this figure especially from like this kind of distance just just looks phenomenal to me so yeah there is Nightwing up next here we got Wonder Girl. Now I, I broke my uh, my classic rule with this one. Just gave her the Wonder Woman face, the original Wonder Woman face, because the Wonder Woman that I use actually uses a different head. It uses the head from the CMF series because I liked getting a an exclusive head for just Wonder Woman. So yeah, this head is that one. Some black, just some plain black hair, you know. Uh, painted the Wonder Girl logo on there. It's not great. Not one of my best jobs ever. I could probably add just a little bit more yellow paint and make that look better. Uh, some stars around here. I mean, they're just X's, but from a distance, they look good. Uh, Flesh, she's got a V-neck. I mean, this is a really simple one, but one of the founding members of the Teen Titans, and she was on the new Teen Titans, which is my favorite uh, lineup for the Teen Titans. So I absolutely had to make her and yeah there's donna troy so woo oh, let's do that again oh she went behind the fridge i will never see her again up next here we got speedy honestly i can't what is his name roy it's roy right i, I don't even remember man it's been so long since i watched arrow and that's Pretty much where I got all of my Green Arrow knowledge. He's got this yellow bow. It, it looks like shit. I'm sorry. Um, it's kind of hard to paint these things. Uh, and it also uses the incorrect yellow color. 
I got a better yellow recently, but it also, it's really not that great because it's, it's not very um, thick. It's very thin, but it's okay. The rest of this figure though, I really like. Yellow hat. I don't have the little feather, the little plume that comes out of his head there. The head there is just the 2012 Robin. I painted the eyes a little bigger, got rid of the mouth, and added my own little, little smirk kind of face. The body's fully painted. I think it looks really good. I mean, there's not a whole lot to say about it. It's a pretty simple design strap to the bow or to the quiver on the back, which I did paint yellow. Yep, uh, there's a head there. I don't know. I thought I could still kind of like use this head. Maybe when he's um, withdrawing from heroin, uh, if you know the comics. That would make sense. If you don't know the comics, that probably sounded pretty weird. Never really liked the name Speedy. I always thought that Kid Flash maybe should be called Speedy. But, uh, you know, that's Speedy. Oh, and I, I forgot, with Speedy, I did want to show him next to uh, the classic comic Green Arrow. Up next here is Aqualad. I feel like his name's fun to say like that. Aqualad. I don't know. There we go. That's that's Aqualad. Um, he's <laughs> uh, black hair, whatever. Mutt face. I painted black on the eyebrows up there, and I also gave him a little bit of mouth there under the teeth. I just thought he looked like he should be doing a really derpy kind of smile. So, did that. Uh, painted the torso. It doesn't look amazing. I did this guy kind of a while ago, but you know what? That's not actually that bad. And I really do like the way the uh, little aqua symbol came out and then these legs are from the uh one of the the vacation batmans from one of i, I don't remember which series i think series two of uh, lego batman movie minifigures and i painted the um uh bottoms there blue and then some blue blue shoes uh you can actually look at this one from the back so that's cool um not much of a, an amazing figure but um, I'm just, I kind of feel like showing all these characters next to their, their uh, adults. I have uh, Aquaman with the metal hook. I just thought that'd be kind of a funny look to go with. Um, I haven't ever changed the face on him. Maybe I would one day, but for now, that's, that's my Aquaman and that's my Aqualad. Up next here is Kid Flash, and honestly, I didn't, I did not make this figure really at all. This is a uh, Shang-Yi Wan, which is a, uh, it's kind of like Lepin minifigure of Kid Flash that was from Young Justice. Uh, all I really did to it is I, I kind of like added some yellow here because there was like a missing bit, I think. And then I added yellow on the sides and back and changed the hair color to brown. I just thought it looked better than the orange that it came with. But yeah, this is not my figure. But what would I do if I were to make a Kid Flash? It would probably look 95% just like this figure. So, I mean, he's pretty cool, and then I'll, I'll just bring in my Flash, just just because, why not? Yeah, there's my Flash. He's based on Lego Batman 2. Changing eras to the New Teen Titans. I mean, Kid Flash and Wonder Girl are in the New Teen Titans, but here is an exclusive, or remember that originated, I think, in the New Teen Titans. It is Raven. Now, I love this figure. This is one of my favorites that I've done um, or at least that I did at this era. I've done, I've done better customs now, but I made this character, I made this custom like probably like seven or eight months ago and I really like it. She's got, you know, some very long blue gloves, just a little bit of flesh poking out at the top. Um, blue hood that I painted. I really like that paint too, because it looks very like plasticky. It looks like a, like a shiny new Lego piece, which I like. The head there is actually from Karai from the Lego Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie line of sets. She's got a cape from Spongebob. Yeah, there's the uh, back side of Karai face. I really do want to make White Raven at some point. All right, now I'm just showing these two characters together because they're less fan favorite characters. This here is Jericho, who is Deathstroke's son. Um, really not a whole lot to say with him, except that that torso is fully painted by me and... It's one of the more detailed ones, although I don't think it came out as good as it possibly could have. And the head looks absolutely terrible. It's just the young Boba Fett 2012 or 13 head and then just some some painted uh, thin hair in yellow, which I really regret <laughs> painting over that hair in yellow. Maybe I could use this for that for like an M&M custom or something. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> kind of a stupid figure. 
Uh, this here is Terra. She's uh, she's a Teen Titan that later becomes evil. I want to say for in the Judas contract, but I don't want to spoil that too much. If you haven't read it or seen the movie, I would I would recommend just just reading it. It's a lot better of a of a comic than it is as a movie. Uh, another one of those legs with the Batman, the ba Vacation Batman legs. It's just some red shoes. Um, I think she's supposed to have boots, but I didn't make them boots. I'm not too sure as to why I did that. Torso on this one, I think, looks pretty solid, besides the hip placement being a little bit strange. Um, and then that mask is that it's actually a hair or a Hermione head from, I want to say, series two of uh, Harry Potter figures. And I just added a. Um, a mask over it, which I think it looks pretty good. And then the hair is just your standard Luke Skywalker hair. Up next here is Connor Kent Superboy. Uh, the original Superboy, if you guys don't know, was just Clark Kent as a kid, and he wore the Superman costume. Uh, I never really liked that interpretation of him. So this is Superboy from the 90s after Superman, quote unquote, died in the death of Superman. Now, uh, Connor Kent, he was kind of an edgy 90s teen. You can just kind of tell. He had a black leather jacket. He wore the Superman, just the just the shirt. He had a red red pants. I don't know what the hell this little yellow strap is. It was the 90s, uh, the era of straps. Lots of straps. I painted a little belt on there. I don't really understand what that's supposed to be, but it looked decently accurate, so uh, I kept it. Uh, a little bit of red there. I know it looks a little like shit on this light, but whatever, because you're not seeing it in that light too often. And from most angles, this thing looks pretty good. That head... You may recognize it as uh, Forest Fires Lex Luthor, but it was in the Spider-Man 2 Doc Ock bank robbery set from 2004. Also in yellow in countless, countless city sets. But uh, he's, he's got the boots. I painted them all around. This is one of those figures you can look at every which way. But yeah, there we go. There's, there's our boy, Connor Kent. Last but not least, we have a couple of surprise extra bonus characters here now this first one is gizmo from the teen titans tv show now this character this figure is is kind of a joke i made it for a video years ago that i never ended up making or never ended up finishing called teen titans deathstroke uh if you've been around on the channel for a while you might uh remember that video and uh yeah so it's a really simple character short round head um but the eyes worked for that kind of anime style. Uh, it's just an A-wing pilot torso, with some green legs with some black shoes painted on, and this uh, back piece is from the Beetle, I want to say. And uh, speak of the speak of the devil, here we got Deathstroke. Um, I mean, it's just the minifigure, the the official. I added a, a, a scabbard on the back or a sheath. I think it's called a scabbard. I don't know. Uh, he's got this sword. It's got some blood on it, and it's like got a gold ha handle. Kind of a random thing to have made. Um, I don't know. Just kind of fun. And all I did really was just paint the, the head black all the way around. And again, I did this. I did that at least back when I was planning on making that video. Not to say that the video will never happen. Guess what, guys? I found Wonder Girl. She was, you know, where I thought behind the fridge. But not as hard to get as I thought it might be. But anyways, guys, that was the Teen Titans custom minifigure showcase. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoyed making it and making these figures. Um, let me know down below who you like the most and uh, let me know what you wanna see next from the channel. Um, anyways, I appreciate it guys. I always appreciate your views, even if you don't comment the views, but I do appreciate the likes and the comments a little bit more so. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, um, you know, share it to your friends. That that goes a long way. You know, just, just uh, I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it a lot. So uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Not too sure what video that's going to be, but we'll find out, won't we? So uh, yeah. I'll catch y'all later, do all the YouTube shit, and I'll see you again real soon. Peace out.